There it is, the mostly completed cabinet project. Uh, I was inspired by a friend who basically bought something like this from a guy in town. Looking at it thinking, well, we could probably build that, right? Um, it's an old asteroids cabinet, 30 bucks on Craigslist. It um, you know, has seen better days, but for 30 bucks you can't go wrong. But it was there was nothing to it, there was no plexiglass, no monitor. Um, I bought all these parts basically separately. The monitor is something I had stashed around. Bought the marquee online, built the control panel. Um, for the games that are on here, like Donkey Kong and this Pac-Man, you don't need two joysticks and four buttons, but did that anyway just to kind of, for completeness sake. Uh, put together the panel, bought this coin door from the actual same guy who sold me the cabinet, bought some new keys, and then uh, underneath there's a power switch and volume, which you can't really see too well. Let's fire this up. Lights up, that's always good. Kind of see through to the back there. This does take a second to boot up. It's loading up all the games while it's doing that. Take a look around the back. This is the board itself. Um, it's got all the ROMs on it. Connects monitor connector, PC power supply, Molex connector for power. That there is for your trackball. That big mess of wires goes up to all your inputs, your buttons and such back side of the coin door which is powered by the uh, PC power supply. I didn't bother wiring up any of the coin um, selects. This thing is pretty corroded and old so I didn't think it was worth the effort. Everything runs through a power strip down here and you know all the buttons are wired one by one up through here and then there's my good old monitor just barely fits in there but does the job and then the, the plexiglass is we just uh, masked off with spray paint and it all comes back down to here and to the board. Now the games themselves is this thing loaded yet? Alright, we're back into kind of a display mode here. There's 60 games on the board um, but you can select which ones actually show up. I've turned off about 15 because the more it loads the longer it takes for the whole thing to start up. Um, games like Miss Pac-Man and Pac-Man are pretty good. Uh, there are some complaints about the general sound. Um, it's not accurate, and I guess I'd agree, but it's not that major of a gripe. The issue I had with sound is the nice audio jack they supply on the board is only line level. So I had to rewire some of the stuff, and when I turn it off, there's a nice asteroid thing. When I turn the actual system off, I get a nice burping fart sound out of the speaker as it powers down. Um, I guess I'm just going to live with that. I don't really see a nice easy solution for it. But uh, push one button, pick what game you want, and you go from there. Um, one of my complaints is that when you're in a game, there's no way to get out other than kill off all your lives. Um, some of the other multi cade systems have a switch or a combination of buttons that allow you to jump out or even pause the game, which you can't do here. Uh, another complaint is that this only saves one high score. Um, the Williams Multicade will keep every high score along with initials and this won't even keep initials, just the high score. So it's a minor gripe um, and for a first project it's not you know it's not worth complaining about but uh, I've got this down to about six pages six times eight for so I've only got 36 games on here of the original 60. Some of them are duplicates, so you can have a fast Miss Pac-Man and a slow Miss Pac-Man. But uh, let's take a quick look here. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. I love this. So, like I said, there's no way to leave the game until you actually kill yourself off. Oh yeah, making a video, whoops. So I'll just let that go. Um, down here is the volume, which of course you can't see. Oh, I guess I died. So just for the sake of, uh, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. It does get pretty loud. Oh yeah. Oh, it's loud, okay. And there's a pretty large pot on this thing, so I can basically turn it down to nothing. Um, speaker did come with a cabinet, and you can't see that up there, but there's an eight inch speaker up there behind the grill. And that is it. I'm generally uh, pretty happy with this. Took about maybe 20 hours to put everything together, going to the store, buying wood. Uh, this is quarter inch MDF. Just spray painted it 
and uh, sprayed some finish on it. It's a little streaky, but uh, whatever. And that's it. Go arcade games.